To throw at the outset, here's Hertz. He finds his man complete. That's Watkins. And he goes out of bounds just shy of the 45. 19 yards right off the bat. And a quick first down. First carry for DeAndre Swift. And he'll lose yardage here, back at the 41. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. How about the job there on the outside? Shed the wide receiver and was able to make the tackle on the perimeter. After the loss, they'll come up second and 13. They'll stay on the ground with Swift. And across midfield he goes into Raven territory. A nice job there as he rumbles for nine. And it'll be back to a third and three. They'll try and run here with Swift. And this is only going to be a gain of two. He needed three. It's fourth and one. Throwing his hurts. And he's down. Can't do anything with the football. It's a sack and a turnover on downs. The Eagles unable to convert there on fourth. And on the opening drive of the afternoon, the defense forces a turnover on downs. They show run with three tight ends here on first down. Jackson on the give to Dobbins. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Not a huge carry there on first down, but not all of them will be. But still, all in all, a positive play for the offense. It's all about picking up at least a few to set up what you're going to do here on second down. Clock rolling as we hit the midway point of this first quarter. Now Dobbins again on second down. And they get him behind the line, so that short gain on first down quickly negated. They'll wind up losing three, and now it's third down. They had three tight ends in that formation. That's almost a universal sign that they're planning to run the football. But how about the defense there? They met force with force and caused a stack up behind the line of scrimmage and threw him for a loss. Off the play fake, here's Jackson. And that is incomplete. They certainly had good starting field position on that drive, but couldn't do anything with it after three plays. Have to admit that that's a disappointing end to excellent field position. When that drive started, they had six points that they were thinking about. Tucker's kick is good. I don't know if you ever go into a game expecting to attempt a kick of 62 yards. Charles, not only attempt it, but make it one of the longest kicks that we've ever seen. Yeah, I'm not sure you ever go into a game expecting to kick one of this distance, but all the better kickers, they do dream of it. And they show what they can do in practice and convince their coaches to give them a chance. That one surely paid off. Fair catch going to be taken, and this will be moved out to the 25. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. They're coming off a fourth down gamble that last drive that backfired CD, but really not as badly as it could. Their defense held up and only gave up three points. And what they want to do is pull out the momentum the defense gave them, only giving up the three points in that situation after they failed on fourth down. Now they want to make it pay off. They want to pay homage to the defense and have their own drive pay off in points for themselves. And there's a completion to the tight end. And look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", 6'5", and up. 
A lot of guys used to be basketball players, somehow came back to football. That's really good for the game of football. You get better athleticism, great hand-eye coordination, guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. He'll work his way up the middle for a gain of about four, second down. Well, if you're a football guy, that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there. Obviously, the guy carrying the ball, but how about the people up front? Leverage, athleticism, they created some nice space for him. From the 46-yard line, a second down and six. Once again, it's Swift. Three yards is half of what they needed. Now can they get the other three here on third down? I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense. And guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws and all the plays of that nature to make sure you don't get hurt. <laughs> Here's Hurts to throw. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he's going to be taken down with the first down at the Ravens' 22-yard line. 3 nothing after one on EA Sports. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Eagles in possession as they've got it with a first and ten. Sets up to throw it. That's into a crowd and intercepted. Picked off by Roquan Smith. And the Ravens are going to get the football back at their own 17. Yeah, he's just trying to throw this ball into the hole in the zone, but those windows can open and close quickly, especially in the middle of the field. So if the timing's not right, we'll see interceptions like that one right there. After the interception, here's Jackson, and he's taken down, back in his own seven. It'll be a loss of 10, and it'll bring up second. Well, that's an excellent way to get the pass rush activated. The first sack of the game for them comes on the first play of the drive, and it makes it very tough for the opponent to pick up a first down now, playing behind the sticks. Now it's Jackson. They set up the screen to Hill. Huge play there on the screen pass, and even 40 yards. That's how you run the screen right there. The defenders get out of place, and then there's a lot of room to maneuver for your running back. That's because all the defenders, or I should say the bulk of the defenders, were chasing the quarterback. Great disguise, great fake. Got the screen out there, turned into a large game. Throwing now, Jackson on first down. This goes to a former eagle, Nelson Aguilar. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. The catch and run pays off for 29 yards. So many times in my career, I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing. But as long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. Jackson on first down. This one caught by his tight end Andrews. And he doesn't quite make it, taking it with an eyelash. Dropped it to one. And Jackson going to hold on to it. Take it into the end zone for the Ravens touchdown. Lamar Jackson keeping it himself from a yard out. And they are able to add on to their advantage. Tucker able to connect on the extra point. And the lead grows to 10 0.
Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And he'll elect not to run with it. And a fair catch on the kickoff will move the ball to the 25. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. But not an ideal way to end their previous drive. They threw the interception, Charles, after they had built up some momentum. They were moving the football, but something to at least build on for this offense as they run back out here. Yeah, you're right about that. Up until and this will be caught at the 30. A big play there for Philly. 47 yards. And this is how you answer a touchdown on the other end. You come out throwing to start your own drive. And not just throwing but pushing it down the field. And they come up with a big play as they try to answer back with a score of their own. <laughs> They'll throw on first down with Hurts. Again, that's Watkins. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and he passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. One thing I do know that offensive linemen like, they like a guy who's carrying the ball that will take what is blocked. Not try and create a big play and maybe take a loss, not try and go where the blocking isn't. But if it's just all that's there and you just put your head and your shoulders down and get that, you get the respect to the big guys up front. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. And I think they'd be well served to take that type of a physical approach against him the rest of the game. He's had his way so far, but on that last one, that worked quite well for the defense. Second down, here's Jalen Hurts. Oh, come on. This throw's going to be incomplete. That's a big force incompletion there to bring up third and long, and this defense can still salvage a little momentum by forcing them to kick a field goal because just a few plays ago, they looked like they were headed towards the end zone. On third down, he'll drop to throw. And this is caught. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Quez Watkins. A 15-yard touchdown grab. And the Eagles have got it back to within a score. As the offense went on the field to start their last drive, you know they discussed in the huddle, hey, if we put one in the end zone here, we've put ourselves in a position to start making a comeback. On for the extra point, Jake Elliott. And they're back within a field goal. It's 10-7 now. Score, 10, Elliott, now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And with a little under a minute to go, still time to try to put a drive together to add to their lead, should they so choose. In motion, Aguilar. They'll throw on first down with Jackson to the right side into the hands of Flowers. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. 
We didn't need to ask around the league, but we got to confirm this guy's a good player. They've got to find a way to get him more involved, call a few more plays that target him. Absolutely, because here we are toward the end of the first half, and that's the first target, not just the first catch, first target. Still a few inches short of a first down as they come up now on second down. In motion, Aguilar. Now Jackson. As he came to the line of scrimmage, he knew he didn't need much to reset the chain, so when he saw the space he needed, no hesitation. He went to the marker and got his guys a first down. First and 10 at the 38-yard line. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. They'll send the big tight end in motion right. Yo, yo. Now Jackson on first down. Being chased out left. Oh, come on. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. A nice job there on the escape and scramble. A first down, a 16-yard gain. position after the big play inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. Off the play fake to Dobbins, here's Jackson to the goal line, but it's incomplete. That's a pretty play there, got in at the last second, helped force the ball free and kept them out of the end zone. Unless this is a quick incompletion, this is likely the last play here of this first half. No, we changed it. play of the half here. It's Jackson. And in for the Ravens touchdown. Mark Andrews in the final seconds of the first half. And the Ravens will extend their lead here just before halftime. And this drive, Charles, very well timed as they score with very little time remaining in this first half. And I'm reminded that they get the second half kickoff as well, so they can break this one wide open before the other guys have a chance to possess the football. Tucker with the extra point, and his guys will take a 10-point lead. remaining in the half they will line up to kick this one away and we'll still have time for one play before the half as this will be fair caught and brought out to the 25 
They'll throw now on the final play. Going deep here for Watkins. And it's knocked away and incomplete. That's it for the first half. Two more quarters to go. We'll have plenty more to see after the break. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. A 10-point game, 17-7 to score as we get back to it on EA Sports. Oh, a good return up past the 30. And good starting field position. He'll get this one all the way up to about the 35-yard line. The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. This offense set to begin the third quarter, and Charles, if they had a checklist of things they wanted to accomplish in the first half, certainly at the top of that list would be having the lead, and they've got that here. That's always the most important box to check, isn't it? But also, they've had some success in their passing game, so probably an empty box establishing the run. They're on pace for And that's caught inside the 35. And off the way in for a Ravens touchdown. Isaiah Likely, 65 yards. And the Ravens come right out of the locker room and score here in the opening minute of the third quarter. When they drew that up, I don't think they envisioned it ending in a house call, but he got it and took it all the way home. Really impressive run after the catch, wasn't it? That was, a, that was really special by him. But let's face it, in today's NFL, those tight ends are often former wide receivers or maybe even sometimes bigger running backs. They just put them in a position to get a great matchup and make plays like that. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. But no run back here. Fair catch, and this will come out to the 25. The Eagles offense sent to begin their next drive. But first down, Hurts. And he takes a shot on the release, as this will be incomplete. Another attempt, another incompletion, and when I look at the scoreboard and where we are in this game, it comes to mind that they have to start getting the ball in the hands of their playmakers. Throw it to the guys that maybe can take a short pass and turn it into a long game or make people miss downfield. They've got to have points, and the guys who can put the ball in the end zone, they're the ones that need to touch the ball. And he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Hurts. He finds his man complete. That's Watkins. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Back to throw here. Now he's free at the 35. Touchdown, Eagles! Devontae Smith, 62 yards. And the Eagles are able to cut into that deficit. As a former DB, you might not like to see that, but from a wide receiver's perspective, those are the plays they dream of. Correct on both counts, all right? Because once he took off, I mean, let's face it, that should have been done in big sky country. There aren't any speed <laughs> limits out there. And off he went. Glad I wasn't the one trying to chase him. Elliott good on the extra point. And the lead down to 10, 24-14. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And 
And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. The Ravens take over first down 10 at their own 22-yard line. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. Well, partner, you know, coaches always say that every play is designed to score a touchdown. Sometimes that's not really true, but last drive, that was the case. One play to get into the end zone, and now they'll try to duplicate that success here. And it's rare for those moments to happen. Incredible when they do. And you saw the celebration. Pure, unbridled joy after that one. Jackson. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. We're in Baltimore. Third quarter action. Second and ten. Here's Jackson to throw. They set up the screen for Dobbins. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. A gain there of 21 yards. And when you have success throwing the football, the old cliche becomes true. The playbook opens up wide. And these screen passes, they become even more difficult to stop. 13, 13. Throwing on first down, it's Jackson. Pressure comes, and down he goes. The Eagles get there for the sack. And they're going to speed things up here. It's a loss of eight. Brings up second and 18 at the 34-yard line. Throwing is Jackson. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Flowers. And he'll go out near midfield at the 49. It'll be a pickup of 15 as that a lead to third down. Of course, the catch was nice, but how about what happened after? Able to stay on his feet and gain all that additional yardage. So many of these slot guys, I think, have running back in their background. Hey, Ozzy, Ozzy, get up! You at X, you at X. Hey, Ozzy, Ozzy, get up! They'll try and run for it with Hill. And he won't get close. Only a yard, fourth and three. John Harbaugh going to roll the dice. They're going for it on fourth down. Oh, they're changing this at the line. In motion, Aguilar. Fourth down, here's Jackson. Oh. Able to find the open man, that's complete. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. Facing a fourth down, they come away with 18 yards and the first down conversion. And that's a big pickup on the first down. And you know that all week, both sides of the ball, offense and defense, are going through every situation. And in this case, the offensive guys had the right play dialed up because defensively, you work on fourth down situations as well. And deflating for the defense, they can't get the stop here. I'll tell you what, this defense hasn't played its best, but they're still right in this football game. And if they keep making plays just like that, they're going to give their offense a chance. They'll send the tight end in motion left. They snap it at one. Now it's Jackson. Yeah. This is going to be pulled in by the tight end Andrews. And they move this all the way down to the nine. It'll be first and goal when we come back. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Baltimore. It's the Ravens in control of the football. They've also got the lead as we get set for the fourth. A good chance now to put this game on ice. This is first and goal. They'll try to pound it in with Hill. 
And he's going to pull his way down to about the one-yard line. A good run on first down, and now they contemplate a second and goal situation. It's largely been the air attack that's gotten them down here, but now is where you start to lean on that running game. That's a good pickup there on first and goal. Edwards. And running room scarce here. He's going to be stopped in his tracks at the line of scrimmage. A lot of tired bodies on that field, but this is a big play. Third and goal. Jackson going to run. And he'll get in. Touchdown, Baltimore. A touchdown run there from a yard out. And the Ravens are an extra point away from making this a three-score game. Now Tucker to add the PAT. And he's been a busy man. Five for five now as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And he'll elect not to run with it. The fair catch will move this out to the 25-yard line. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. As this offense comes back out here, Charles, they're trailing in this ball game, And they've been on the sideline for a while. They did score their last time out, but they just had to watch that long, sustained drive. So we'll see if they can shake the rust off. Yeah, and that's always a, a question that you have when you have to come off the bench after having sat there for a long time. Are you ready to go? Are you loosened up? But even more so, are you mentally alert and ready to put your best product out there? And they're able to get this one across the 35. On first and ten, it's Hurts. Out route pass complete to Goddard. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. So in Raven territory now, here's a first and ten at the 47. King, Bill King. Hey, 73, 73. Hey, 73, 73. Here's Hurts to throw. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. Nice progress down the field was halted by that incompletion. They could try for some safe yards here to get things moving again, or keep throwing it and pushing it downfield to try and pick up bigger yardage. Throwing his hurts. He finds his man complete. That's Watkins. And he's going to be taken down with the first down at the Ravens 35. Hurts sets up to throw it. He's got Smith here. That'll go for a gain of seven, and it's second down. Hard to believe his first catch of the game defensively. They bottled him up. That's why they're well on their way to victory. Put your best cover guy on him, and then change the coverages behind him throughout the game. Brackets, double, zone, man, you name it. Make sure he gets a lot of angles. On second down, Swift. And only a yard this time as he's taken down right around the 26. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's Eagle football here as we get you reset. They face a third down now as they try to find a late score. They'll come to the line needing only two yards to gain the first here. On third and short, they'll try and pick it up through the air. Touchdown, Eagles. A great effort there. 26 yards. 
yards. And the Eagles have got it back to a two-score game here in the fourth. And that touchdown puts us in a position to have a discussion, doesn't it? Now it'll be a two-score game after the conversion. Yeah, I mean, there's no doubt with a two-score game, they're going to have to onside kick it. We'll just see if they've got a miracle up their sleeve. And you wonder what onside kicks they're going to use and in what sequence if they hope to have a chance to win this game. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. Now they are really in the driver's seat here, enjoying this lead late in the fourth quarter. The defense does have all three timeouts, but at this point, doesn't look like it's going to matter much. Here's Jackson. They still come on. Can. And Jackson going to the first down as he will get to the ground to avoid the contact. 16 yards on that one at a Raven first. One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. First and 10 at the 41-yard line. Jackson going to give this one to Edwards. And he'll power his way forward for about four yards there on the first down carry. Now the defense going to use the first of their timeouts as he'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. A give up the middle to Dobbins. And he has the Ravens first down, and it would appear that that's going to be the one to do it. Ten yards is the pick up there, and that should just about put a bow on this one. 3-4 defense, and that old line really dominated the D-line on that play. And think of it this way. With a 3-4, you have a natural bubble over each guard because those guys don't have defenders over them. Oftentimes, if you want to run up the middle, they can get upfield and get on the linebackers right now, and that gives the running back a heck of a chance to get into the secondary. 11 more yards that go around, a first down as well. They're making it look easy out there. Another first down. So, so far on this drive, let me do this little bit of math here. Four plays, three first downs. That's a pretty good recipe for success. So it's a win here for the Ravens, and it was just too much Lamar Jackson. 